start talking about Done. what we're doing. <clears throat> so, like I was talking to the other guys, noticed a lot of people just um, coming into Fed, landing as quick as they can, or even just hovering in the little bit in the little birds, um, getting shot out, getting down before we even get a chance to kind of um, land. Who joined your channel? Who joined now? Hello. <laughs> With the phone. Okay, it's all good. Anyway. Like I said, yeah, we've been having a lot of people just landing, running in as quick as they can without assessing the situation first and finding out what's there, how many people there, um, whether there's snipers on the hills, on the hospital. We've got to make sure all that's clear first before doing anything. Um, so as we're flying there, I want someone to go to your map, um, look on the Federal Reserve and mark at one tower. If the tower was one to five, I think it is. I think there's five towers. Actually, I think there's six, sorry. Yeah, one to six. Just mark them one to six for me. Right, so, someone volunteered to do that for me. I've got it. Roger Ciao. that. Cheers. Make sure you're doing it in group as well. Yeah, yeah do it in your group chat so we all can see it. So, you know, doing that, um, as we're flying in, everyone's to look out of that and find out which tower is which. So, if there is someone seen there, you to call out, like, look, Rebel in Tower 4. So, then we can all go, okay, so we know to be careful landing in that area so we don't get all shot. And we got a rough idea of what's going on. Why has it just gotten more daytime? That's great. <clears throat> okay, so they mark one to six. He's still working on it. Going behind and making sure they're all named tower. Hey, it's the other that counts. We got three of them, Mike. Put tower one, tower two, tower three, tower four, all, all the right. way around like that. So I'm we know. That, so we know that they're actually towers. Mark the entry. Well, like as I was well. saying, yeah, put um front entry and back entry. Like obviously that's fairly fairly yeah. self-explanatory, but we gotta make sure people get that right as well. Alright, now once done that, I'm gonna put a marker on myself of the key places to be putting um the spike strips. Obviously at the front and back entrance, the little entrance to the dome, you need to place one there as well. Um, and a good place to stick one is um, on the main road as you're leaving the KOS zone. Because that still is in the area, we're allowed to place it there because there should be no one driving along that area at the time. Alright, so first things first, clearing the hospital. That's going to be the main thing because you're flying in over that first. Okay, so you, you want to be going not too fast, but you want to be going slow um, to be able to get a, a good eye on all the locations on there, whether there's any vehicles that are around that area. Obviously, I'm going to be doing it fairly slow slow in this because I want everyone to be able to get a rough idea of the path I'm taking and everything else. But you need to you need to not do it too fast because you need to be spotting people. Pay a, pay a lot of attention to your surroundings as you're coming into the area, whether there's um, vehicles on the main road from Kavala and all that kind of stuff as well. Alright, so first things first, the hospital. The main, the main place people are going to sit on this hospital is on that helipad if they're sniping because you can lay down and get the shot. They shouldn't be shooting the most from there though, should they? Yeah, I know, I'm just saying, just in case. Like, it is a safe zone, so if there is anyone there, let an admin know, because they're not meant to be there. Alright, next place to check is back town, Telos. Now, prime area for snipers to sit and for rebels to sit up in there waiting. A lot of people put cars up in there, wait for the cops to get in the land so they can come in from behind them. I've seen they've done a lot. So, best thing, fly over the centre of the town. As you're flying over, you can see the right hand side, you've got those rubble buildings, the uh, construction sites and all that kind of stuff as well. A lot of snipers sit in there. So fly over, clear that area first. Obviously do it slower than what I'm doing now, because you want to be able to make sure there's no one there. Um, and also on the left hand side, you those windmills, those rocks there. If you get up on top of that, you can get a clear view, like from there all the way down in through the front doors of the dome. So you want to check that area out as well. Right, after making sure that town's clear and there's nothing left in the town, um, this dirt road, this is a good good path to take. You've got the hill on the left hand side which you can be used as a sniper spot too because you can see over the wall um, and you can see the towers on this side. So you want to make sure there's no helicopters landed up there or any vehicles in that area. If you see a vehicle, obviously check it out more thoroughly because um, there might be someone laying down in the bushes using a sniper. Right down under and the hill that's um, now... Oh, yeah, I've got to deal with something. I've just got to land. Oh, man. Yeah, no worries, go for it. Right, so you must... Like, it's not much of a hill, but it's enough to be able to shoot into those towers. And, um, to be able to shoot 
like into the dome. If you get in enough angle over the house that I'm facing towards now, you can actually um, get a fairly clear shot in through that little door of the dome, which can be fairly. Like, I sit there, I sit there a fair lot when I'm trying to take the rebels out because you can get a good shot. Right, obviously now once once this area is clear, you make sure there's no snipers. If you see a sniper on these hills, go onto that group chat again, mark on the map, sniper located here, put a marker on the map so people can get a rough idea and call it out. Like, just don't put the marker there. Make sure you say, look, there's a sniper. I've marked him on the map. So people know to check that location so they can stay covered from him and they're not going to get taken out. Uh, how do you mark on the map for everybody to see? Hi. Yep, okay, so you go to your group chat and you double click on the map. So you open up your map and then you double click the location. It gives up you a, uh, a type box and you can type in what you want to do, then press enter and it'll save it there until someone deletes it. No worries, thanks, mate. Alright, yeah. So <clears throat> we've got our, our back entrances on the right hand side and the front entrance we're facing now. After clearing those sniper positions, fly over the Federal Reserve. Um, obviously, if there's LMG fire at you, you want to be doing it a lot faster. But if you're not taking too many shots, these Ghost Hawks and um, the okay. Hellcats are fairly armoured. Yep. <laughs> are fairly armoured, so you can take a fair few shots. Unless you don't sit there and let the thing get absolutely pumped. Um, fly, the idea of flying over like this is you to get a rough idea of you do it higher as well so you don't get shot at the time. Get a rough idea of how many people are in the area. Check all the towers, make sure there's no one sitting in those towers. Um, and you just get a rough figure count. Say so if there's six people in there, you know that you've got six people on the inside. Um, and you can count how many people have been tasered or taken out by that number. And you can get a rough idea of how many, like how close you're getting to being clear. Uh, quick um, note as well, um, down under you actually forgot the power plan as well. There's also a sniper location up there on those towers. Yeah, that's a freaking long shot though. I don't know, that's where I normally go. Yeah, I've done the shots from there before, but not many people do that just in case things do go wrong. They like to be able to get to this area quick. But yeah. that's a good point. Probably check it out as well. <laughs> just a possible though. If you've cleared yeah, all three exactly all three sniper locations, there's no one there, just check it out. Yeah, it's worth checking out because they could be sitting up there. Um, Rightio, so the best thing to do this is if there's people in the Federal Reserve, you all don't want to be going through the one entrance because then they know you're going to be on this side of the Fed, so they all run to that area and you can be mowed down pretty damn quick getting in. Um, so try and have one person land over the back here. Obviously if this town is not clear and these sniper positions are clear, don't land. You want to clear those positions first. Um, or if you want, try and land them inside the Federal Reserve if you can find an area that's clear, like near one of the domes. If you can quickly land there and you know you're a fast lander, drop the people off um, and get the helicopter back up out of that area. Because you want to be able to take out those snipers and everything first because they're going to be your main threat. Right, if those sniper locations are clear, L try and land pretty much where I am here, okay, in this little area here, well obviously I'm a bit further up, near the front, near this back gate. Right, once the inside's clear and this area's clear, you want to be landing here. Alright, now everyone jump out for me. Alright, that'll be the other chopper, the chopper, you're to land, if there's two, like, try and take two choppers. The other one's to land on the front entrance. Okay, so that divides the people up in the Fed, so they're all not going to be running to the one entrance. Okay. Yeah, I think you lock the helicopter too. Uh, uh, down under, one thing you did miss on the last one, um, there are going to be, uh, sometimes I've seen people sitting on these domes, and you'll see that because yeah. they'll have a heli on top of the dome. Yeah, obviously, but, you see up, you know to take them out first. Yeah. From here, I got clean shots on you all. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, so I'll get you. Try and, try and get back on this wall a bit so that way they come from in this entrance. Whatever. Um, now, the key location spots for these spikes just to be put, because we're still in the KOS zone, a lot of people get out the gates, they either drive up through this town and go to the back roads, or they drive around to the right hand side and go along that main road. So, look, putting this spike strip here somewhere, look how open it is. The only cover you've got to use is either running back into the Fed or making that big long sprint up into the damn town. There's a lot of a lot of cover here, so if you end up popping someone's tires in this location, it's pretty much game over for them. Okay, so anywhere here, place them on this road, so they can't get out. Right, now, every time you come to Fed, try and bring your spike strips and try and place them at these boom gates. Because if they've got a hammered in there, the only way they're getting out is if they drive over them, or if they have another vehicle that drives over it, so that way they're going to disable a vehicle somehow. Um, so, but you're better off placing your spike strips just on the outside. 
Uh, excuse me down under, did you mean for us to put our spike strips down? Nah, dog, don't stick them down yet, dog, I'm just here. Yeah, I'm just going for a rough idea. Like, you want to be sticking it like there somewhere, so if they get over that boom gate, they're going to pop ties either way. Okay. Place your spike strips, and always shut those damn boom gates, because we're on foot, there's no point us having them open unless we're bringing hunters in the shit. Like, technically, don't bring any other vehicles to the area. No SUVs, no off-roads, all that kind of stuff, and try and drive it in, because you're going to get taken out quick with this shit. Alright, and with these down, because we're all on foot, nice thing to do, just jump over. Really, so once they're down, you got people coming in through the front gate, and you got people coming in through this back gate. The best thing to do, work on an anti-clockwise kind of, kind of way of doing things. Okay, so you're coming into this gate. Look, if you've got a lot of people, you don't want five or six people running around in the one direction down this way and clockwise. Divide them up. There's two back gates. Send one group of three or four in through the back gate up the end of the dome. Go clockwise. And then have the other group here go anti clockwise. That way you're kind of cleaning out this area. <clears throat> right, so coming through here, look, these white buildings, people sit in them. I don't know if you've ever really had to, to deal with people in them, but over, especially the one over near the dome, they sit in all the time. Okay, so. That's way to do it. Clear the buildings as you go, so you know where you're looking and what's been cleared. Obviously, the guys at the front door are going to be doing the exact same thing we're doing, working anti-clockwise, but they're going to be closer to the fed, uh, the dome itself. Okay. Um, these domes, look, you can check them. Obviously, you're going to, if they're open, I'd check them. If they're closed, don't worry about it. A huge deal, because um, if you're checking every, you'll be moving in and out, then you're just going to have to go check them towards the end again anyway. Um, Right, the main place people sit are these towers that are in front of us. This one's got a clear view of that front tower, of that back town, and you've got a clear view of that um, open paddock on the other side as well. So for someone that's sitting up in there, for the people that land in helicopter on this other side, your first job is landing at this back door and in that, that safe zone, clear these towers, because if there's people in these towers pinning that other helicopter down, they can't land. Now, I don't know if you've if you've noticed, but these bigger buildings here... Um, can I be can't move to... The Police training. Um, uh, over in the chopper. Uh, uh, negative. I've already. So mate, you just can't have them come to the next one. So those things work pretty good at night. All right, too. Um, right. these buildings here. Those things work pretty well. Get good. underneath them. Great way of getting cover. You, you're not seen while you're under here. You can shoot from under here. And look, it only takes one shot to the leg for a damn taser to take someone out. So if you're pinned down and you need to get away somewhere, go under those damn things. They're really useful. The amount of times I've been under there and survived, it's been bloody, it's, it, they're bloody good to use. Alright, clear, clear the towers first. Move around this way. Obviously, move around the back of things. People can't see you if you're moving around the back. Ozzy, you made a mistake. You went by yourself. <laughs> I'm just clearing up. Uh, we got everything up. Boom, you're dead. <laughs> And then oh, no yeah. one knew where you died. Look, there's no point checking all these little buildings. So you'd be there forever if you try and check them. You want to try and get this area cleared as quick as possible. Um, but again, coming through here. Now, the main issue is with the front door. Coming in is nice and easy. Yeah, and you've got to go around towards the, the actual Federal Reserve Dome. But that main tower, right in the front entry, people sit in all the time. I don't think I've been to a Federal where there hasn't been someone in, one of them, in that tower. That's that one I'm looking at right now. Wasted all those glow sticks and nothing. Hmm. Have we got a Bolivian coming in? No, I told him he's going to wait for the next one. Oh, well, it's just because it started, it's kind of. Okay. He's only glow. <laughs> right. Um, look, there's another tower. So look on your map, look at the tower numbers. Try and keep it to the pattern. Right, if you look on there, you can see you've got the, the Federal Reserve, the actual dome mark. So, have we done that's done good? You've got the dome gate, you've got the back gate, spike strips, where to put them, your tower numbers, um, and you've cleared those three sniper spots on the hills, say so the two hills and that building. Obviously, that's a good one to clear as well. Um, and the three, yeah, a good thing to do first thing to check is your hospital, and then your Talos area. Because people hide the hamlets up in that Talos area, um, and once the area has been wiped out by police, they, fly, they drive in. Um, and then they start to load the gold up. So if you see your vehicle up in that area first, go up there and disable it, because if that's disabled, they can't do shit. But don't impound it. Don't, yeah. Do not impound a vehicle until the area is fully clear. I cannot make that more... I cannot stress about that more, because there's been several times where I've come here, I've had a helmet, 
Now, I've still been able to sniper up on the hill on people in the area, and police have impounded them. Um, okay, so, at least, even if you have to search the area for ages, just to make sure it's clear, check every dome before impounding anything. Yeah, um, when I'm on it, I give a rule of everyone, we go, we, I don't impound anything for five minutes. If I don't take shots for five minutes, I start impounding. Just say, um, perfect way of doing it. Quick query, um, best way to, uh, to mobilise a vehicle uh, that is not moving, it's parked. Mobile, I, okay, so could I just pull you, my if, um, MXC out and start yeah. shooting? If you get in here and you see a helicopter that is just sitting there and not doing anything, it isn't meant to be here. It is a, an illegal vehicle. So, to, like, think of it like in a um, in a safe zone. If you see an illegal vehicle in the area, it's a shoot on sight. You don't have to give any warning. Same thing goes for this. If you see a helicopter flying over the top of you, don't give them any warning. It's a no-fly zone. Take them out. It's more than likely the only reason they're flying over this area is to try and get eyes on the situation and pinpoint people. Okay, more towards like uh, if there's a truck in Telos or something, should I just pull out my MXC and just start fucking lighting it up? Um, if it's unmanned, you know, it's just disable, sitting there. Look, disable, disable the tires. Disable the tires. Don't keep going until the thing just completely blows up. Um, obviously, just to take out a few tires because then they're gonna have to repair it, and that way you can keep tabs on it. If you see that that vehicle's repaired, you know someone's in that area. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> take a few tires out. That's I just, good. Um, I just thought I'd bring that up. strips. Yeah, that's a good idea. Spike strips are the best way to take a vehicle down. So if you've got the spike strips, you can be If you place these spike strips on these entrances, there's no way they can get in or out without popping tires. And you'll be able to hear it. By the time you hear it, you should you should be able to pinpoint exactly where it is. Move to a position where you can take out tires, or even take out the person that's um that's like that's driving it. You should like by the time they they like, need to get out and they need to repair it, so you should be able to take it out. Another good spot to put the spike strips is this main road. If they get out that back gate and pop tyres, that spike strip's gone. So you need to be able to pop their tyres again. So I'd recommend putting a spike strip over here near this light pole on, on this side of pole on my right hand side. Put a spike strip going across the road here. So that way if they come out this boom gate here, they ca they try and go left, they're going to pop them here again. And if they try and go right, put another set on the right hand side as well. So that way um, if they try and go towards Kavala, because uh, it is a, still a KOS zone here, and you're in the air like that, perfect. Even because there is a Federal Reserve going on, a raid going on, anyone driving past this area, if you look on the map, it's still in the red zone. So they should, technically they should avoid the area at, as, as much as they can. So putting these spike strips along these roads is not going to get you in any shit. If it, if it happens to pop his tires, too bad. He shouldn't have been in the area. I know it is a main road, but there's a Federal Reserve, like a Federal Reserve raid going on, and you need to have them here. I love it, love it good guys, please, once it's cleared, you know it's cleared, there's no one coming back, pick up the spike strips if they're not. Remember, no one else can pick up these spike strips unless, the, uh, apart from the person that's placed them. And that ha and that doesn't, like, if you've died and you've placed it, then the best thing you can do, just get a vehicle and drive over it, because it's not going to disappear any other way, because you won't be able to pick it up once you've already placed it. I've had shit situations where I'll be, I'll be running from the cops, say, as a civilian, and someone's decided to make a soft checkpoint, and they packed up and left, but uh, left all the spike strips User there. Joined your channel. So I just um, dealt with a few people who were waiting for it. There we go. All good, man. Um, right now, like I said, put these boom gates down, put spike strips at the boom gates, so if they try and go over, they're going to pop tires. Now, if they come out here, try and go left, they're going to pop tires again. If they try and go right, they're going to pop again. Look, it is easy to say, look, they can drive around these spike strips if they see them. But look, they're going to be in that much of a rush, and they're going to be trying to get out of the area as quick as possible if they're taking shots. But they're not going to see these damn spike strips and run themselves over, and run over them anyway. Um, next thing I was saying, look, I don't know if we fixed it or if it's being fixed or what the go is, but this dome, the federal is a dome. Um, you actually can't open the big doors as a civilian at the moment. I've tried several times, but I couldn't get it to work. The only way these big doors open is if a cop opens them. Like, this probably is going to change, like, it, they used to work, so I don't know if it's just something that Max has changed recently, or if it's just a, uh, it's just glitched out for the moment. It's a um, script. script yeah, issue. Look, anyway, just, the best, look, even the best way to tell if they're locked, if you scroll wheel on it and go open door and it just bounces up and down, you know it's locked. If it opens up, well then you know it needs to be repaired, then you press your Windows key, go to your repair menu, and that way you're 100% you're sure that no one's going to get through this door and a rebel actually has to use bolt cars and stuff to get in. Was moved to your channel. Right. 
Now, he's, I, I, he's pretty much know how to clear an area. Like, you're not obviously going to run through the middle of this open area here. If you come through the front gate, you're going to go anti-clockwise. So you're going to come in through that section just there first. Um, that's how I look. Behind these um, these crates is where a lot of people sit. Because you can hide in them, you go in and out of them, you can lose people fairly quick. And then you can also go through this big white building. Now, a lot of people sit in these buildings waiting for people to run across the open open areas. If you run across an open field, you know, just for an example, come inside here. Right, if you come to these back doors and open up these back doors, yeah, they're open. If someone's sitting here, look how much of a view you have without being seen. You're only, you're only going to get seen if you're inside that doorway. You can look out and you can see a lot of movement over near those towers on the opposite side of this dome and you can pretty much see this whole area. So, someone running past here, if they, if they can see you and they can get an easy shot on you, they're not going to miss. So if you just decide to run through this open area here, he's going to come out from in that door. He's already, already going to be ready and knowing that you're coming towards him. You're dead. So you need to stay with as much cover as possible. And look, it's not a race. Like, it's not a race to get this area clear. You're better off setting up properly, getting the spike strips and stuff placed down, than it is to try and run in and try and clear the area as quick as possible. Because if you've got this area, area locked down and spike strips placed, they're not getting out anyway. Yeah, so look, even if you run through here and put a little spike strip along these roads or in the Federal Reserve, I'm not going to get it because technically they're not meant to have vehicles in here. And the more vehicles in here that are disabled, the better. So if you want to put these spike strips down like, you know, around this centre bit so they can't drive out, go for it, do it. Um, but just remember to remove them once you're done. Um, once you've cleared the outside area, cleared all towers, um, and you think you've, like, obviously you're going to have your rough figure count. So if you've seen six people in this area and you've been um, flying over, and you've tasered four or five, you're going to know the rest of them are going to be inside this dome, or they're going to be hiding and trying to get their friends out of the situation, so they're going to be taking their time. Okay, now, the three entrances to this, to this dome, there's no point trying to run into one entrance. Okay, um, I don't have any smoke grenades on me to demonstrate how big they go, but I don't know if, have you guys seen how, how big these um, yeah, smoke grenades actually get? Like, they get huge, you can actually hide a little bird in them. So if you throw smoke grenades on this outside area, they're not going to be able to see you. Well, get people positioned on every door first before opening them if they're closed. And do not, obviously, do not stand here in front of it because you're going to get a shit pumped out if you do. Sometimes I can't open this door, but open up all the doors at the sink. So open up, we'll go three, two, one. Open the doors. There's, they're not going to no be able to cover. They cover there's it. not going to, they're not going to cover three doors. Plus, there's, there's no cover in there at all from that building. And you've got three points out of four covered. Plus, you're able to see behind that back dome, and you can see the besides near this little door. So, look, if you open them all at once and all go in at once, you're going to get minimal casualties. Look, they might get one or two of these if they're lucky, and you're going to definitely take them out. And that's going to be this whole dome cleared. You're stupid to open one door and run in and try and everyone just try and get one door and try and sneak in and pop them, and it's not going to work. They're using lethals, you're using tasers, especially as pub slots. No, you, yes, it is a one-shot kind of taste thing, but then you've got to make sure everyone in that dome is down for you to be able to move in, or if they can just sit back and shoot you guys as much as they want. So definitely make sure you've got all these entrances covered first, and then open them up and move in. Just to add to that as well, if you've got smoke down, you have cover. Once you open the doors, if you have, if you're high enough rank yourself, or you have another high enough rank officer, they have they have bangs, flashbang. So you got smoke, you got the doors open, you got flashbangs in there, they, they won't know what hit them. They're, they're either... Just, um, also, oh, sorry, you go. No, you're right, mate. Also, talk to the higher rank, because if he's got flashbangs in there, you don't want to be looking that direction, because it's... Oh, it's like a point down. It's going to hurt. Like, those things, they ring in your ears, they make you scream, go bloody white, hurt your eyes, because if you like me, you're playing in a dark room. Um, yeah, they kind of suck. Do we do so, one for the circuit when train? Yep, okay guys, we'll come around to these big doors. Right. I want you to all look at, when I open this door, I want you to all look in the Federal Reserve as I throw it. So, oh, man, all look inside this door. Hang on, turn your sound down a bit as well, guys. <laughs> turn your sound down, turn your lights on, because otherwise it's going to hurt your eyes. Always call it as well, guys. Like, if you're throwing a flashbang, bang her out, or fucking smoke in, whatever. Yeah, right, oh, so you mentioned if you're throwing a flashbang, because they suck. Like, flashbang out, okay. Flashbang. Flashbang. Oh, no. Turn away. Stick. Turn away. I'm looking away. He's going to look. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I still oh, got him. Oh. 
and and they last a long time, guys. Take note of how long it lasts. So what you're yeah, noticing? If you're, a rebel, if you're a rebel in that zone, you cannot do shit. Now, if you've got five or six coppers at these doors, and a flashbang goes off while they're inside, they can't see, they can't hear, they're gone. That's pretty much game over for them. Uh, big tip as well, right, a lot so of these... Mine just wore off. How the hell did I run in here? <laughs> <laughs> run the wrong way. Some of the rebels think that decking out their guns is the best idea, you know, they'll get their scopes and they'll put their silencers on there. A lot of the time they'll make the mistake of getting a laser. Now laser pointers are only visible by night vision, so if they're doing this at night, they've given away their position to you. They're yeah. very, very nervous. So I'll get most of my kills at fair. You, you notice a, a cop shouldn't have one. If they do have one, then they they're not doing their job properly. Mm. Flashlights on the other end, different. That's that's something I use for these situations. It's something you might be able to, um, around the corner, then flick it on and get someone. You know, because you, you, Funk, just just look at me real quick. That thing's pretty damn bright when you're looking straight into it. Uh, just can I ask a question about that? If you're scoped Definitely. in like that, look at me. It's gonna What's... blind you. That's very bright. So how do you Funk, look at me. Light? I've tried many times and I just don't know how to. That is bright. Uh, what was that? Say that again. Uh, so I've L. tried L. L. Okay. Yeah, Thank it's you. it's L. L. Thank you. We can do like a disco with it. <laughs> we wish. But like, if if you're scoped in, you've got an SOS scope on that, and and you see that pop around a corner. It's gonna throw you off. You're probably gonna miss the shot. Like uh, that's why they're attack wise. They're not just to make you look sexy like I have them. You wish. Right. Another thing I'm gonna to mention too. Unless if you're the person flying the helicopter, if you're in one of the um, ghost hawks or the Hellcat, try and stay in it. Because having eyes in the sky is a good thing to have. Now, also grab your fuel killer. Your fuel killer is really useful. If you get here and they've got a um. One of those big ass helicopters to carry shit in. Whatever the fuck they're called. Um, here on. The only way, yeah, the, the only way we're going to be able to take them down is if you disable it, which the tank is all shit, um, or if um, they have another person here with that fuel killer. So if you've got fuel killer here, you've dropped the people you need to drop off. Get back in the air. Get your eyes on. Look for the snipers. Keep an eye for more cars moving into the area. And if you're on foot and you've seen someone, don't be yelling. Oh, he's over there, he's over there, he's over there. But that means nothing to anyone. Like, you've got to be able to look to your map and go, okay, he's closest to tower one. Alright, uh, guys, guys, I've seen a guy. Right, I'm about to kill you, Callum. Headshot gaming company. Why? Just doesn't want to join him. The so. guy won't shut the fuck we're, up. We're halfway oh, through. Dude, I'm pretty much finished, man. Yeah. Just I've already sent a guy to another bike. I said, I'm pretty much done. You just have to wait for the next one. Yeah, cool, cool. Alright, Um, Another thing, guys. Those Hellcats, they... They have uh, thermal. They are so useful to have in the air. If we have a pilot in it, sure you need a pilot and a co-pilot in it, you lose two officers, but if you got thermals and you're telling us people are at front gate, you know, or someone should run up the front gate, I'm getting heat seekers, we can go out and it, it just gives you an upper hand. It's, it's like a UAV, ESP. See, maybe. the only problem with that is um, the Hellcats is for us second rank officers and we've got our lethal guns. Yeah, so it, it, so, it contradicts it's a, itself, but yeah. don't forget it as a, a tactical, you know, advantage. Uh, just a quick question regarding the flyover at the start. Uh, as you were saying, the Hellcat and Ghost Hawk have some decent armor. Uh, what if you only yep. have hummingbirds available? Would you still do the same, or would you try and avoid any, you know, condensed areas? Okay, look, in a hummingbird, pretty much one bullet's going to take you out. If you get a decent shot by a decent weapon to that engine, you're gone. The best thing you do if you're in a hummingbird, just land as quick as possible. I wouldn't stress about look, unless you're a good pilot, if you can come in fast and you can get a really quick landing and you can fly overs and get your up and you've got enough people on there to be able to get the eyes, you wanna do that as much as you can. But just remember only one bullet it takes one bullet to take those in. So you'd use more um, hummingbird, I guess, to bring officers into the area, I guess, or Technically no, I'd be because you can be shot off the side of a hummingbird too. They're not armored at all. So if there's someone here with an LMG, they and you're flying in fairly slow, they're gonna light you up. Five, six officers down that are in the hummingbird. They if the hummingbird goes down too, that's everyone dead. Fifteen minutes and you guys can't go back there for. And that's yeah. like for six officers, man, that's that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot that's of That's fed. That's GG fed. Yeah. That's
that's pretty much call it. That's if um, you have if you have officers die as you're coming in, and if you have officers die as you're running through the gate, you've done it wrong. If you if you haven't got, if you if you're dying as you're coming through those gates, you haven't scaled the, like haven't got over the area properly. You need to roughly go like thoroughly go over that area, get your eyes on, mark your snipers, and then move in. And yep. Especially those towers, like those towers is where they're going to sit waiting for you to run through that gate. Because that's your most open position. If you're running through those gates, that's where they're going to take you out. You need to make sure there's no one in the towers, and you need to make sure there's no snipers in the area. Because if you're like me, if you can use, like, from that distance out, it's like what, 400 meters from that sniper hill to the gates, you, know, you should be able to take someone down with every bullet. Because the, the they're all going to be walking, they're all going to be going up against the wall, looking in, looking over the wall like yeah. the gate. They're going to stop looking in the gate, boom, there's that, they've stopped. That's one down. They're all going to roughly do the same thing, and if someone gets shot, they're going to panic. And that's when shit goes wrong. They're either going to run in and through those gates, they're going to be taken out by someone that could be manning the gate, sitting behind these barriers just over here. And if they're sitting here, the only way you're getting in is to run through that gate. Now, if there's a sniper on the outside and there's a guy here on the inside, you're boxed. You can't do shit. They're going to pump you from here, and they're going to get you from behind. You've got no cover at all. You've got nothing. All right, guys. How would you feel about starting up a server event in the next 20 minutes? We're yeah, almost for that. This fed raise is about, this training's just about done, so... Um, what's the um, event going to be? What do you reckon? Basically, a prisoner who's gone to the fed, robbed it, and sold the gold, has 20 million on him. The police's job, they're all going to have lethals. All our higher ranks are going to be there, and whoever's, um... Whoever's been whitelisted long enough are going to be given a lethal for a small period of time. And then we're going to be transporting the prisoner from Molot, which is DP-17, I believe. Prisoner transport, yeah, I'm keen for that. Yeah, that's and correct. Yeah. Yeah. So well, based um, on okay, so we'll have, we'll have the hunters out, obviously, because we're not going to be doing yep. this with, like, SUVs and shit. Although, we might as well have one or two SUVs, like, we can have them leading and tailing the convoy, so if... Oh, you better off just doing it with hunters, man. SUVs get too far ahead, they roll too easy, they desync, you just have no, nothing but issues with them. You've got the hunters, if they take damage, like, an SUV, if you Plus, get desync, you want to with an SUV, for a little it's bit blown up. Hunters are, hunters, they're armoured, so they're not going to be taken out straight up, and they're not as quick as SUVs. Right up there as well, we can have the heli in there as well. A, no, no air you don't, vehicles. You don't want an air vehicle? That is the rule. No air vehicles on the Rebels or cop side. Cool. Um, they, they they we, a 50 cal we're going to have all our higher ranks, so level 2s up, are going to be involved in this. Because we're, right, guys, so we need people with lethals. The little amount of whitelists we can give lethals is better. Well, we'll finish off the training real quick then. Two, three. We'll yeah, it, we're dude. pretty much done. Well, I'm just going to explain six. how to lock up properly and do things properly, Seven. and then once that's all locked up properly, we're done. Or <laughs> even attempt to lock up, because that was absolute fucking bullshit on that last one. Okay, now, I want to pub slot the answer this for me. How do you lock these doors up properly on the dome and on the vault? I want, to I want, I want one, one pub slot Sorry, man. to explain to me There's the no process of what here. they do. No, it's no pub slot. Okay, well, the lowest rank. Oh, do it. I want I'll, someone to explain to me how you lock these doors <laughs> That's you, Ryan. I'll, I'll, choose, I'll choose someone random. I'll choose someone random. I'll go... Uh, okay, okay, I'm in the team seek. I'll choose Pablo. You've been quiet. Ah, oh, fuck. Um... <laughs> so, like, the first bit of training. Right, mate, since we're in a circle, no. you step into the circle, and if you get it wrong, we're gonna shoot you. Okay, Oh, okay. God. Oh, right. I'm joking. Uh, I'm joking. We're not gonna shoot you. Just your life depends on Because... Look, this isn't in the server rules. It I'll, doesn't I'll tell you what you had to do. <laughs> Right, Funk lives. If you get it right, Funk dies. Oh, win win. Hold on, can I can I step into the circle very quickly? Nah, we're doing Pablo on this one. You wanna say that now? Just just step out, Pablo, for a sec. I just got I got my aimed at gun at you, Funk. Okay. My name is Oh my god BT1. I own a VL Turbo and I'm an alcoholic. Oh my god, BT Roses are red, violets are blue, my VL turbo goes. <laughs> oh wow, that was horrible. <laughs> I think all the attention in the world and everyone loves me. No. That was terrible. Dude, just got some of us shot. Okay, <laughs> so was well, I'll probably go for a minute. How to, how to close it? Yep. Okay, so you say if the rebels just came in, they've opened up the area, they've opened up all the doors, they've opened up the vault, the bomb, the bomb charge has gone off. Just want to know. I just want to just 
Like, there's, there's no no pressure on this. Like, if you get it wrong, it's understandable because pretty much just a DPS. lot of people do get it wrong. That's why we're here. So doing this. the bomb charges. Up, bomb's like, gone off, gone everything's, off. everything's gone off, everything's open, the money's gone, you're locking up properly so that nothing else goes right, so you're pretty much shooting. done today. The, area's, the area is clear, this guy. Um, you're pretty much just <laughs> locking up and, and going back User to Kabbalah to end your shift. I'm guessing you're going to have to repair it if the bomb's going off, aren't you? Yeah, the bomb goes off, so you best say, so, kind of explain what you do, you walk, you walk into the reserve, what do you do to kind of repair the bolt? User do you press your, your Windows channel. key, or do you scroll wheel on it, or? You just lock up the door. Key, wouldn't it? Okay. You're now, telling us, mate. Yeah, you go. Just go through. Just say what you do, and then we'll go. And then I'll go through it correctly if you're wrong. Well, consider it's my first time I've done. I dare say it'd be an option in the Windows key menu. That's just a like, quick guess. What about, what about, what about, what about, what about your doors? Alright, someone, look, someone else, someone else, step in and give him a hand. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So right. someone else give him a hand. Okay. Oh, I just, I'm just, I'm gonna correct his if he's wrong. So I just want to yeah. find out what you should do. Say if I'm not online, you're yeah. doing this by yourself. So I just want right. to get a rough idea what you should okay. do. Okay, so if the doors have been blown open, uh, can we you walk your, through as we do it? As your Windows key, it has a repair option. You repair the, you repair the vault first. You, well, first of all, you check that there's no one in there. Uh, repair the vault. Repair the door vault and then repair the door that's been bolt cutted. I'll do it. Right. Oh, you've got the you've got the idea. You just know you know the order to clean it up, like to lock it up in. Right, but you might, you much, might as well walk got, through. Yeah, yeah. Just, show me, just walk through. And okay, also, so, down under, how do I get my guy go to shut up? No idea, dude. It's a bit annoying though. Yeah, I know. Okay, so this door's open. The bomb's gone off. What the fuck? What the hell was that noise? Don't, don't everyone walk you see in that? there. Yeah. What was that? I, I did hear a vehicle drive past just not long ago. Yeah, though, it's like still, I can hear it. It was like a wind noise. Uh, mm. I think there's people out the back. Okay, oh, okay. Be shivers, man. Sound like a ghost. Well, I'll come like that. So you come in here. I'll, I'll this is the box. All the money is kept inside this big red box. Yeah. Okay? okay, now to open this and get into this, you need the bomb. You need to place I'm the bomb and it goes off. No, no, because I got killed by... Okay, so this big red box, you need the bomb to open it. So, now once this goes off, you can get the gold yet. So yep. you in here, you, you scroll wheel on this, and once you scroll wheel on it, it'll say repair bolt. Okay, now it'll you'll click on that, it takes a while, you do the little action like repairing a car. Okay, once you do the action repairing the car, you'll see a bar going up to 100%. Once yep. it gets to 100%, you're done. Okay, now that one's locked up. You move on the outside here. Close this door. Oh, come on, guys, come here. Because we haven't had a rebel open, I would be able to, I would show you, but you close this door, so you press your Windows key, you go close door. Okay? And then you press Windows key again, so this one's a Windows key action, not a scroll wheel. Yep. Click yep. on repair door, and then the, the bar will start again. Now, this is probably one of the longer ones. This one takes a fair while to do. Um, you see the bar going up to 100% again. Once it gets 100%, that one's locked up. Now the best way to find out whether this is properly locked, if you scroll wheel on it and go open door, it'll do that little rocket movement, like it actually went open. Okay. That way you know you've 100% locked it up and that no one can get in or out. It has a sieve. Cops can open it by using their Windows key, but if you scroll wheel and you can't open it, you know it's locked. Okay? Okay, how coming in? The, these other doors work exactly the same way. If you scroll wheel on it, after you've repaired it, under that 100% bar, you press your Windows key, go repair, wait for it to go to 100%. Once that's done, use that scroll wheel again and go open door. And if it does the little jump it up menu... You've locked that properly? You've locked it properly. Alright. So you close that, you go up to it, you'll see you go up and down when I do it. Yep, just jumps up and down, you can't actually open it. It's all good fun color. That way you know it's locked. Yeah, I don't box you. Yeah, I just said a heli cam. It, it's alright, it's alright, right. I've already talked to him. Let him be there, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's pretty much that dome locked up. Once that's locked up, they have to use the bolt cutters and everything else to get back in and use the bomb charge to get back in. So if you've locked that up, that that gives you another, what, 10 minutes for them to get in? Five minutes on the blasting charge, the doors, by the time they do that, get the gold out, you've just brought yourself an extra 15 minutes on fed. If that's right. if they try and do it again. Yep. Most of the time, most people just shrug it off and go, okay, if we can't get in, we've lost it. So if you've cleared the area, lock that dome up. That is your first thing to do, lock it up. Once so that's locked up, 
the area is clear. Walk around to the vehicles that they've got here, so they have a helmet, off-roads, ifrits, you name it. Search the vehicle first, then impound it. Yep. Make sure you search it, because if they've gotten into that safe, there could be potential gold bars in those vehicles, and you've got to get those out, and that's evidence, and that's money in your pocket, pretty much. I'm pretty sure it gets divided up between the cops if you find gold bars. Yep. And that's what you're here to stop. You're here to stop them from getting the gold bars. Because if you're, if you're pressing white menu right now, um, go to your market down the bottom. Go to where it says gold bars. 140 grand. Yeah. 140,000 men. Like somewhere like that's gone down. So that's been fiddled with recently. So Is someone's that... taken gold bars out. Okay, so if you click on another one and you see how the green arrows are there, that means no one's really fiddled with it. If you can click on it and find a red arrow going down, you know someone's been there recently and the price has gone down for that illegal item. Like marijuana, it's gone down. Price change, uh, eight hundred fifty-two dollars. So someone's Process doing. Process cocaine's gone up. So someone's doing mar the, the weed. Someone's doing the uh, cocaine, and yada yada yada. Turtle meat, it's gone or it was down. Like so, that's a good way. If, if you're going to be doing like raids on an area, look at that first, and you can go, okay, someone's doing that. So you check those ones first. Easy. Well, like I said, mate, once you you've done that, you impound the vehicles once the area is clear. If you haven't taken shots for a certain amount of time, like the other guy was saying, he waits five minutes, impound the vehicles. Once that's done, jump in your helicopter, get out of here. But always try and keep someone in the sky so they can keep a rough eye. Um, and the thermals, the thermals are helpful. You can get a rough idea where snipers are. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much the order I want things done then. So come to your gates, place your spike ships. Like I said, if you've got your spike ships down, they're not getting in or out. I don't know how many times I've been here and I've seen someone drive an Ifrit in through those bloody boom gates, up over those boom gates, get in and drive around this area because there wasn't a spike strip that's put there. If there's a spike strip there, they cannot get in or out. Unless they've got repair kits, they have to drive over them, pop tyres, and then repair them. That's an extra for so many minutes, and they cannot shoot you while they're repairing, so that's an easy way for you to taser them. If you've set up properly, you should be able to get this fed, they shouldn't be able to get the money out. You have the upper hand, yes they might be in here and set up, but you have more um, more, more ways of catching them and getting them the enemy. Like, if you've set up properly, they're not getting out. The only, re only fed raids that I've ever failed are the ones that haven't been set up with. Ones where there's no spike strips put there, they've come in, they've put up a bomb charge, people have just ran through those gates, shit popped out of them, haven't found There's been several up on the hills in Talos, over on the poles, over in the airfield. If you set up properly and clear those areas, you'll be fine. So basically, you're clear from the outside again. Yeah, it's exactly it. Clear from the outside in, get her off, figure out how many people are inside, so you can go, okay, I've seen six, I definitely know there's six people in there, so there's six plus, never underestimate, like, if you've seen six people, never say, no, there's, there's less than six in there, because someone could be counting and go, okay, cool, I've killed five, that must have been, that must have been all he's seen. And keep your comms clear, that's another thing too. Try not to, try, keep all the talk and the shut it down, like, don't be going, oh, there's a guy in that tower, there's a guy in that tower working in your individual groups, and by like personally to talking to someone. If you press that little squiggly button next to your one key, it'll bring up the person's name. So I've got here private, like it's got private there, but it's got um, Officer Pablo Sanchez. If, do that on someone and say, okay, there's a bloke over in Tower 1. This is his name, so we can get an idea of who's in the area, and if they die, they can find out who broke NLR. Okay, so find out who's in the area. Um, and call out the tower number. Like if you say, look, look at the officer, if you're not too sure what the officer's name is, look at him, go Pablo, there's a bloke like to your right hand side. Don't be like, oh Pablo, there's a guy over there, because look, to him that means shit. There's a guy yeah. over there, there's guys everywhere. There's been several times where I've been here, I've been running through the open, like an open like this to get to cover. Someone's gone all down and there's a guy there. Oh, okay, get out, where is he? Is he behind me? Is he in front of me? To my left? To my right? What the fuck was that? What the that was a time oh, yeah. just to no that's need that wasn't role played by the sands of things that needs to be dealt with i'll go check it out uh, i so know exactly who it was on so to mind. add to that uh what would you do if a aa rocket is fired at us look you have if you're in a little bird you're screwed it's pretty much it if you're in a um ghost hawk or that um i can never remember the name of the fucking thing what hellcat was it hellcat hellcat that's the one you've got flares for a reason if you hear that beautiful noise going off press your flares but technically, people bringing Titan AAs to the Fed, you don't see it all the time because they are expensive. Yeah. I've only seen like higher games, like U the UN guys, I'll give them that, they've used them, and the um, Islamic State guys, I've seen them use them here. Uh, Apart from that, 
I've never seen anyone use AA Vassal apart from that. Oh, look, the Sloth Gang. The Sloth Gang I've seen use them as well, but that's pretty much it. And also, if I may add, the last uh, third raid we did, uh, Nathaniel and I, we played over, and they did lock onto us as well, so, and we got shot down, so just be careful of those. Yeah. Okay, right, guys, right, to finish this training up, has anyone got any questions? Can I have my lollipop now? Yeah, who's getting who's getting promotions? Us too. No, no one gets promotions as I see I see this information could be good work. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. Oh come on. Alright, let's run no, there, boys. Let's run Obviously look, I've, I've taken notes of the people that are here uh, with me today. Like I've got everyone's name written down on my notepad. Um so I know the people that have done done this training. Like you guys have obviously to pass it on to the other pub sorts when I'm not here. Yep. This training will be happening again. It can be reviewed on the website. Um so Look, if, there's, if you've got any more questions or someone wants to go over it personally, just send me a message. Dude. I'm more than happy to go over it with you again. And uh, we'll go from there. So just to confirm with the lockup, it's a scroll key for the first one to lock up, then a Windows key, then is it another scroll? No, so the scroll wheel, the only scroll wheel you do to lock up is the actual vault itself. No, the just the actual vault. The rest yep. of them are a Windows key. But you use the scroll to check if it is like properly locked. You use locked. the scroll wheel to check it, exactly. That's uh, so a lot of people haven't been doing that, they've just been shutting the doors thinking yeah. it locks them automatically. And there's been several times where I've come back online and they're just opening the doors and get straight into the vault to place the bomb again. What are you doing? Uh, cool. Channel, right? Are you guys done? Yeah, we're just, just finished then. Uh, down under, I just got one right, last uh, question. Cool. Yeah, go for it, buddy. Uh, when will the, what's the, uh, sorry, it's when it's is the channel. next, uh, um, what's the name? One like this. Next training. Next training. Look, I'm gonna, User I'm gonna try and do the trainings a bit more regularly and train the other cops up. That's just at the pub talks, so they need to know User what's going on in their situations. I'll probably do another one for you tomorrow. We'll do another one tomorrow. We'll do right. um, targets. Uh, we'll see about that. Yeah. We target illegal areas or we'll target raids in towns yeah. and stuff. Are we yeah. doing the prison yeah. transport? Uh, okay, spots for question. the hunters. The hunters have all been set up and spawned in the right spot. Basically, all we need now is the person who is going to carry the money on them. Oh, I'd okay. love to. Oh, I'd love oh. to. Uh, hey, um, did you I say that there would be no, no cadets? Did you say? Where do you want us to go? No, he's allowed to come. Just that he's allowed to have the police.